Begin with that overnight shooting spree. Police are trying to piece together five shootings that took place over the course of less than five hours this morning. 12 News' Alex Love is live outside JPD headquarters to break down the investigation. Alex? Absolutely, Byron. One of those who was killed was only 11 years old, and he's been identified as Jordan McCoy. He was simply sleeping in his apartment when a bullet came through and hit him in the head, and that is and and that is just one of many shootings. This case, this uh, excuse excuse me, real quick, going back to that one. Neighbors believe that the suspects targeted the wrong apartment and that it was a drive-by shooting, but that is just one of five different shootings. The chaos first began at the Taco Bell on Highway 80 when police heard gunshots and responded to find one man who's. Been been identified as Antoine Bolton, dead in his car, and another injured. He has not yet been identified. On Ginger Drive, another child was hit in his apartment building when a bullet grazed him in his bed, but he's expected to be okay. Other shootings occurred at Williamson Avenue, leaving one man wounded as his house was shot into around 4 a.m. And one hour later after that, Parkway Drive saw a shooting reported, but no one was injured. Over 40 shots were fired into this apartment. That's, that's unacceptable in this community. Uh, a 10-year-old sleep in the bed doing what he's supposed to be doing at 3 o'clock in the morning. And I, I don't want to be the first to say that we might need a curfew, but it's evident that this community uh, is not doing what it's supposed to do to uh, stay in place during this, this uh, stay-in. Now at this time, there is no word on a motive or any, or any suspects, but police have obtained video, they say, of a car that was in the areas of at least three of these shootings, making them believe that some, if not all, are connected in certain ways. Remember, you can contact authorities if you have any information and, your infor and that those tips can remain anonymous. We'll have more to come in our 6 p.m. newscast, but for now, live outside JPD headquarters, Alex Love, 12 News.